Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a flashback. Uh, this is Victory's Hop Devil. I don't remember the last time I had this beer, but I actually looked up on Beer Advocate when I used to literally write a review for every single beer that I had. And that's sort of how I got into beer, um, you know, learning flavor and everything. I recommend it for you guys if you guys are getting into it. Uh, it takes a lot of time, but you know, I used to you know, do a lot of writing. I used to do a whole journal and everything. It just, um, it helps when you write things down and it really helps you learn. So um, I re go, go, go do that yourself, but anyway, this was almost five years ago when I started the channel. That's the first time I had it. But um, this is an old, old IPA that, I mean, not the can itself, but this is an old, old recipe that I haven't had in a while. This is actually Best Buy um, about five weeks away. So I don't know when their Best Buy date is put out to from their canning date. But hey, they say there's over a month that this beer should be okay. So we'll see how it is. Beer comes in, oh, first off, uh, Hop Double IPA. Uh, this beer is quite dark. There is a lot of caramel malt in this one. This is one that is even darker than IPAs. I remember drinking back then. Uh, so this is almost like an amber IPA. The uh, beer comes in a uh, medium to deep amber color. Uh, nice clarity on there. Uh, Off-white head. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, it smells oxidized. Yeah, so what is that? It's uh, like this tea-like flavor. It has, oh yeah, it's paper again. Really not much fruitiness to explode on the nose. Multi sweetness. I mean, I taste a little bit of those like uh, uh, sweet, juicy hops, but it's underneath it. So this is not like way past oxidized, but it's past the point that you can drink it. So another oxidized beer. Uh, I mean, it, it's almost like a broken record these days. <laughs> I don't want to sound like Greg's beer reviews, but honestly, if you're going to put a Best Buy date, um, I mean, not everybody's going to put their beer in the fridge. So uh, set the Best Buy date by somewhere where, you know, a place that the retailer that I, I bought this from uh, sat it on the on the warm shelf. Then again, it's right next to the cooler. So this probably, I mean, I don't know what. The thing is, that this was probably part of a mix and match uh, uh, twelve pack, and then it got broken up. I don't know why, but then they have a shelf of sort of mix and match six packs that you can make, which is right by the fridge section. So granted, it's not fridge temperature, but they're probably keeping this beer around 50, 60 degrees. Um, so I don't know. Undrinkable. Unfortunate. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.